Just let me go with your hair and see if the curls will come back. <laughs> oh. Evie is coming. I'm so happy that you can leave. Evie. We are happy. Gang, gang. Tell me I can leave. Mm. Guys, come closer, come closer. That's just how many of you have noticed the weird vibe going on between Jesse J, Yvonne, um, Olivia, and Jen Yu? Guys, let's take into consideration certain factors here, all right? Olivia, Jen Yu, and um, Yvonne, in this equation now, they are friends, right? Um, gossip partners sisterhood and all of that good stuff going on amongst them now gcj comes into the equation he is very much interested in yvonne and then later when yvonne was playing hard to get or whatever he started giving attention to jenny o. and now he and olivia has been paired to play the game to god knows when big brother decides to call off the pairing system and now <laughs> it seems as though there's something about to start happening between Juicy J and Olivia. Hey! Oh my goodness. Guys, you know what? Let's get into this video because, see, all the information here yeah, is still kind of fuzzy in my head. So let's get into the video. Mm? I'm going to be putting it out one after the other. You two, you'll be putting two and two together, and then we're going to come to a conclusion. And I urge you all to please share with me your conclusion or your predictions in the comment section below because you see this drama that's about to start. <laughs> I'm all for it. <laughs> and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory, and I am the girl with the tea, the tea of this video. <laughs> it's about a polygamous relationship, unionship, whatever it is. It's about to start up in the Titans Mansion. And guys, this one is juicy as hell. Oh, juicy, see? Pun not intended. So juicy as hell anyways, because juicy of course is involved and he has enough juice to spread. So yeah, before we continue with this conversation, I want to especially thank those of you that are newly subscribed here. Thank you so much for choosing to join this family. If you are also a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you so much for your consistent support. If you do not belong to any of that equation, please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen to become a part of this family. And yeah, to all of you that are business owners out there, do not forget um, I am opening slots on my platforms to help you advertise your business to help you gain visibility for your for your brand so if you're interested in all of that for a token for a fee then please send me an email all right send me an email let's get talking those of you that have sent emails already thank you so much for um, your patronage and um, just to clear the air for a bit I've received emails and um, some people are actually thinking I am doing this advert placement for free it's um, those people that are really um, ready to invest in pushing forward their business all right i mean there's no way you want to gain visibility for your business online that you would not have to at least invest a token to it so yes please let's get it straight all right please i don't want any miscommunication all right so for those of you that are sending me emails and thinking that this advert placement is actually for free please it's not really for free yes we were talking about the weird relationship that's going on between our circle of friends and juicy j um, Nana is not yet a part of that relationship circle, but I don't know if it's ever going to happen, okay? But it seems as though these three ladies tend to fit into Juicy J's spec, yeah, for a woman that he could date. Because, <laughs> hey, God, I mean, guys, we've had this conversation before on this channel. We all know how it all started with um, Yvonne. He saw Yvonne, he liked Yvonne, picked interest in her, was chasing Yvonne, chasing Yvonne the whole of last week. And Yvonne initially was reciprocating the energy, but then new housemates were introduced into the house. And then she thought maybe she could actually find interest in one of the male, new, um, new male housemates. Um, that is Miracle OP, right? And that was the exact same time that she actually brother zoned or friend zoned um, Juicy J. Now, it turned out that Miracle OP is really not a kind of guy, not a spec. And so she started reciprocating back the same energy to Juicy J. Now, before she started doing that again, Juicy J was already frustrated and came to her and told her that, listen, since you're not giving me the same kind of energy that I want, I am liking 
um Ikpe Leng. I'm gonna go talk to her and let her know that I like her and she's the kind of person I would love to wife. And Yvonne encouraged him, but then it was more like a plan from Juicy J. He wanted to get a reaction from Yvonne, and that reaction he definitely got because it kind of sparked um, some sort of jealousy streak in Yvonne. It kind of made her territorial. And then she started leaning in towards Juicy J all over again. Now, that one or two days break that Yvonne sort of gave to Juicy J, Juicy J did not only use it to make advances at um, Ikpe Leng, he also used it to make advances at Jenny O, that is Yvonne's friend. Guys, the whole thing became a bit um, complicated when Juicy J, all very good, out of frustration, went back to Yvonne and um, Jenny O saw them and she forced him like, okay, no, you have to say who you want, who you like. And he declared openly that it was actually Yvonne that he wanted. But guys, I don't know the agenda of Juicy J. If he's trying to play a script like um, Yemi Craig's, I don't know yet, but it seems as though he's in a very sweet way leaning to us playing the same sort of script as yemi yes because just when we thought that okay fine yvonne and um, juicy j are back together again let's see if they're going to start their ship or not juicy j on saturday last week during and after the party was making heavy advances at jenny o. and guys the interesting thing about this is jenny o was encouraging juicy j with his advances towards her and she's fully aware that Yvonne likes this guy. She's fully aware that GCJ likes Yvonne in return. But it seems as though she wants to also play her own game. She also wants to try a lock to see if the guy is going to leave Yvonne for her, guys. I don't know what these people's plans are. But then it was quite funny when, whilst both Janiero and GCJ were flirting with each other, the moment she perceived that Yvonne was approaching, she immediately left um what's his name now jesse j and then she went to um yvonne and told yvonne we have to stick together us girls we have to stick together now guys that was very very funny very funny anyways fast forward to this new week they've been together that um Juicy J and Yvonne, and they even shared a kiss last night and the previous night, which is very, very romantic. I mean, the whole world was celebrating like it was some sort of trophy victory kind of thing. There is another situation. Juicy J is not done with his games with Jenny O. Yes. And now, because of the pairing that Big Brother introduced to the game on Sunday, Jesse J is now automatically paired with Olivia. Olivia, I'm sorry to use this word, but I feel very strongly that Olivia is kind of horny in that house. Because it seems like Olivia is kind of excited that, oh my God, um, Juicy J of all people is my paired partner, right? Now, they've been working together and because Juicy J is such a sweet guy, he doesn't really stress Olivia. He literally pampers her, right? Because he knows that she has a hot temper. She has a hot head, right? For fights and all that, she is always ready to fight, to attack. So he's kind of carrying her like an egg and he's trying not to offend her, trying to make her happy. So I don't know if she's reading mixed signals from that. She has now started flirting with Juicy J heavily and she does so when Yvonne is not around making it very obvious that these ladies they know what they are doing that's Jenny O and Olivia they know what they are doing they know that they are actually playing with fire guys and you know the interesting part each of them have not really seen when juicy j is flirting with the other take for instance now why am i doing this video because of what happened few moments ago probably up to an hour or two now yes olivia needed to have a meeting with her partner juicy j in the closet area of the house and we're just talking and guys i was listening to the conversation and i was wondering like okay why are they having this conversation again because it just did not make sense it did not make sense the conversation was kind of empty it felt repetitive like they were just going around around in circles and olivia just kept on 
prolonging the conversation and gcj obviously looked bored but guess what he was not leaving that space he sat down there and the way they were talking she kept on laughing falling on top of him and you know her bosom is kind of exposed so she's kind of falling on him she's rubbing him she's shoving his hair she's pulling him closer she's doing all she got guys olivia was heavily flirting with juicy j and he was not angry at it he was not mad at it he was enjoying the attention he was liking it but guess what the other girls were not there and then after a while Yvonne started approaching i'm so happy that you can leave mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. our time is up meeting is over <laughs> <laughs> and olivia let him know that yvonne was approaching and he was like oh thank god let her come because i want you to leave and she was like oh why said eh because our meeting has finished you're stressing me in fact she was even praying that on monday they both win the head of house title so that they will share the head of house lunch together juicy juicy <laughs> ladies and gentlemen juicy j said hell no and she was like ah oh, why he said because you stress me out but but guys you and i know that the reason he does not want both of them to stay in that head of house lounge together is because he probably does not want to jeopardize what he has with yvonne but then again the question of this video that i just need you guys to look into and let me know what your own perspective is is do you really think that these three people are actually playing a game that's the girls because now it seems as though yvonne is pretty much naive about what's going on she's not really seeing what's happening all of these things are happening behind her back and she's too kind of laid back you know that kind of queen bee that believes in a man pursuing her she believes in people handing things over to her like that in the house you know she doesn't want to be bothered at all with all of that kind of man drama so she's not really seeing she's not looking and she's not seeing i didn't think she was looking i'm sure that she would have seen all the signs but she's not seeing and she's not looking jenny on the other hand they're all acting no we are good friends we are good friends but guys overall there's no loyalty so what do you think do you think that jesse j finally is going to be the person that's going to break that gossip gang or do you think they're all going to just flow go with the flow and just play their game or do whatever because guys all i see is betrayal yes betrayal none of those girls have each other's back none of those girls are there for each other no loyalty whatsoever i mean guys they are all thirsty <laughs> they are all thirsty they just be looking for drink for juice they want to drink juicy jason's juice so i feel like they're just not loyal at all but i'll leave it to you guys to share with me your own opinion so please go ahead and do so in the comment section below and i'll see you all on another episode of frankly speaking with gloria elijah have an amazing amazing day bye